Every physical phenomena in physics has got two parts. One is the source, which can be the mass, the density, the heat, and it has got another part, which is called the potential. It can be gravitational potential, electrostatic potential, or anything. The source actually tells the event and the potential actually measures it. And this is exactly what the Poisson equation tells about. The Poisson equation tells how various physical phenomena emerge from the interaction between a source distribution and a, poten and a potential field. Now the Poisson equation actually comes in different form. Something which looks like this, something which looks like this, and something which looks like this. But overall you can see there is an inverted triangle and this is what is called the source. Technically, it calls is as the nabla and it is a differential operator and this is actually which is measuring the source. But hold on, it has got a nabla squared. So what is that? Is it nabla dot nabla? Well, we'll talk about that later. What about the right hand side? It shows there is a phi sign which is basically the potential. Now in order to know more about the Poisson equation, you can go to my channel Physics for Students and find out Poisson equation. It is a detailed video. Now coming to the next part, why Poisson equation is so important because if you are reading classical physics, you will find that the Newtonian mechanics deals with point-like particles, mass, densities of particles. Whereas if you go to something which is a field which is spread over, Newtonian mechanics is, una are, is unable to describe so that. So Poisson equation is very important when we want to extend the Newtonian mechanics into a field theory. You will be surprised to know that Einstein field equation under weak gravity approximately reduces to what is called the Poisson equation. So Poisson equation in one way it is classical, it has got a source and it gives you a potential. You will learn a lot about what is a Laplacian, curl, divergence, vector fields etc. and all these are cleared out on, on, on my video of Poisson. But most importantly if you are willing to learn something about field theory, Poisson equation will give you the right foundation to start from here and how we can extend Newtonian mechanics to a general distribution of field.